hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome as well so today i have my little sister again with me and we are going to be doing this look that you see right here if you haven't subscribed already please do click on the subscribe button click on the like button if you do like this video i'm sure you're gonna like it just click on it and do place i mean put a comment down below if you have anything to say also click on the notification button so that you get notified every time i upload so the first thing that we are going to do is to put on the wig is to put on a wig yes the closure doesn't match her scalp but we're gonna deal with that in a minute so i am spraying water onto the wig because uh, the wig was frosty and stuff so we didn't have time to like prepare for it and then i wanted to prepare it on her head so i just sprayed water and make sure that i'm brushing and stuff so i am going in with this glue right here and this one is the l'oreal uh maximum what is it called extreme hold glue and it is in number 10 so i'm just using it to glue down her wig i didn't really wait for the glue to really dry down because after this look you guys she was gonna take off the wig wash her face and go to sleep <laughs> so i didn't want the glue to really dry so i just used the glue to create baby hairs in a way and i'm using a brush and the brush that i'm using is just a toothbrush like an old toothbrush or you can just specifically buy the brush for this and to match her scalp you guys i'm going in with a foundation that i'm going to use on her face and this technique you guys really helps you know uh, with matching your scalp with i mean your fake scalp with uh, your face so you want to make sure that you use the foundation that you're going to use on your face if you didn't bleach your knots is it called knots I think the lace i don't know what it's called yeah so i'm going in with the duke or whatever you call it in your language or I don't know what you call it and i am just going to make sure that the hairs are laying down i'm going in with the um, i went in with the body lotion from nivea to make sure that her face is moisturized and also to make sure that the glue is not too sticky on her face because the demarcation that we have between the glue and the foundation when you when it's dried down it's really noticeable so you want to avoid that so i'm going in with a pencil this pencil i got it from the streets you guys so i'm lightly filling in her brows and i'm making sure that i'm doing this very lightly and i'm drawing in the direction of her hair and i'm using the la girl pro conceal concealer and this color is in color chestnut to define her eyebrows and you guys i'm gonna use um a very like i feel like i'm too i'm too much of a perfectionist so usually it takes more time for me to draw eyebrows and usually it doesn't end well the more i give myself time on eyebrows they don't really end well but i really tried with hers because it's not really the first time working with her brows and so i already know the shape that suits her face and stuff so yeah i'm just perfectioning it and making sure that the color that i used on her the concealer that i use is going to be her base for eyeshadows so i'm going in with this remel um magnifying jewels uh eyeshadow and i'm going in with the mustard color and a blending brush from i mean by color and i got it from this cam so i used it as a transition color and then topped it in with this green from the nyx palette it is not really showing on her face but it created a really nice transition you know that's why we call it a transition color like you know it doesn't really have to show much but at least you must have that gradient you know between your skin and your next uh, eyeshadow you know you just you just want to make sure that everything is blended and is in gradient so i'm going in with the dark green from the next palette and i'm making sure that i am placing it on her crease and i'm making sure that i'm placing the color more towards the end of her eye and going back to the magnifying what is it remail palette i'm going in with the dark green and i'm gonna make sure that i'm just like you know guys building the eyeshadows together more especially on the crease you know also blending them to make sure that they are like transitioning and they are, have gradient and stuff so you guys i am going in with the foundation i mean the concealer that i used for her brows and i'm making i'm, I'm using the shadow to cut her crease and the first step that i did is to make her look up so that the concealer can touch where if she would open her eyes 
the concealer would be and you know this helps to find a guideline in a way so um the concealer that i used to top uh, on top of her lid is also by la girl and the color was creamy beige you guys i couldn't really show you uh the eyeshadows because damn we were busy talking and i think i was a bit like i didn't really pay much attention to showing some of the products i'll just try my best to link everything down below so i'm going back to the rimmel um found i mean palette to use that mustard shimmery color on the inner part of her eye going in with the essence it's like a dark purple i don't know colors you guys but it's a dark purple color and i'm using it towards the other part of her eyelid so i'm going in with the blending brush that it comes with a palette is a very small blend, uh, brush and i'm just going to transition the first shadow and the eye and the last shadow and then i'm going back to the same palette and taking in the darkest green that i use on her lid to put it on the outer part to connect uh the the, the eyeshadows together and you know make sure that everything is looking all nice so time for glitter i didn't really put any primer on this look because the glitter primer makes it makes the glitter too chunky you know so i went in with this glitter that i got from this camera was under 10 it doesn't even have a name you guys so yeah i'm going in with a flat brush and I'm, i used it to cut her like a wing liner towards the end that uh you know to make sure that her look her eyes are <laughs> popping so yes my camera was always out of focus like this look you guys there was a lot going on with it and the primer that i used is by essence it is the gym proof so i just place it right there and leave it like that and i'm going in with a mascara by re huh? maybelline it's their voluminous express uh mascara and then i was trying to put her what is it called her eye, her eyelashes and you guys you didn't see anything if you want to see how i do my eyelashes please also do look for a link down below and check how i put my lashes so the foundation that we are using is the one that i used on her hair and it is in color it is the la girl pro matte uh I mean foundation it is in color i'll just check the color you guys and i'll just link it down below and i'm just using that color to chocolate her face you guys like can you see how beautiful the color is looking and i'm going in with a flat brush to you know clean her top part of her brow and yes the camera was like no i'll be out of focus <laughs> yeah but yeah there was a lot going on with this video so i usually don't don't go in with any product on top of the eyes if i'm working with someone like her like she didn't really need uh, that but i did so but you may want to use the color of your face like the foundation of your face that you're going to use that is really like helpful so we're going back to our chestnut color to highlight her face her forehead her cheeks her chin her upper lip her nose you know so that is where we're putting it and i'm going in to reverse contour with it i love this like it snatches your your bones so we are going back to la girl the con like i love this concealers you guys and this card that i'm using is mahogany and it was not even dark enough for her you guys like you know sometimes it's really not fair for the darker skin to have to not have colors but i mean it worked out m especially the powders they do help sometimes m especially the eyeshadow that i'm going to use you guys just keep on watching and please do subscribe to see how i got her cheeks to show even more so i'm just using a, a damp blending sponge to blend all the concealer and then now i'm going to the 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 contour so i'm using one sponge i'm just flipping it to the other side and make sure that everything is blended you know just make sure that everything is blended and you keep on blending so yeah bo. another thing that i didn't mention you guys is to you know blend the cheeks you know like the contour putting the contour on your jawline it helps you know snatch your jawline as well you know it just you know makes you look a bit younger and snatched <laughs> so the part that i'm going in with it's by black radiance i'll link it down below as well it's by black radiance and it is in color light they just put light lighter 
darker i think there's codes as well just put it down below so i put the powder everywhere where we highlighted and right now we thank the lord for her muscle flow palette the color brow it it's way too dark to contour her face like i tried to look for any other contouring palettes that are gone that would match her face because she's too dark not really too dark but she's like let's let's use she's very melanin so most palettes don't really match her so i use foundation i use eyeshadow for her face so as you can see the color is really coming along for her face and her color and her skin tone like yes so i'm just placing the powder everywhere where we put the mahogany color and i'm going in with the brush that this palette the powders come in with you know i love these brushes you guys they're so soft i may look like i'm really intense on her face but the brush is Oh, soft so i'm using it to brush away the you know the the powder that i put on uh, on her highlight and the 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 camera you guys stopped recording while i was doing this so i am going in with the highlight and i'm using the hermosa flow uh palette for that i'll i'll list the name of the color down there and i did go in with for her blusher with angel face on that palette you know just to bring back the orangey color i'm not sure if you can see but i see it the orangey color on her face on this day guys like everything was just messed up because i had already lined her lips but i wanted to show you guys how i did that i used the essence lip liner and now i was sanitizing the lips and you guys were fighting about the lip colors like she like she would want to wear a different color and i'll be like no it's not gonna match you guys <laughs> so i'm going in with the design lips and top it with the lip therapy from this camp and still like she's like i don't want this like i want the other color but you know i was like no you know you play with makeup afterwards because now we are doing what i'm doing okay so i'm going in with the mod setting spray and i'm gonna set her face and i was pretty much done with the look you guys i hope you really enjoyed watching and i hope you like enjoying my channel and thank you so much for those who have subscribed already and if you haven't subscribed please do click on the subscribe channel help my channel grow and do i mean put comments and ask or request for any looks that you want or anything that you want to say guys thank you so much for watching please also be reminded that i upload every tuesday and every friday and i will see you on the next one bye